So you're coming off uh, Uncharted 2, where something like 40 perfect scores, games of the year everywhere. What was the first thing you all looked at and said, we want to make it better in, in the next one? We don't want to be bored, right? So we want to push ourselves. And uh, I don't remember who suggested, but it was like sand. we got to do sand. And so we knew we were biting off a lot when we decided to do the desert. But um, I think we realized, like, okay, we can push our tech in an interesting new way that we've never really done before. Um, and then on top of that, just looking at, okay, where do we feel like the last game sort of where could have been improved? The animation system, the streaming animations now, we can actually get Drake to react to what's around him in new and interesting ways. It really makes the player feel like, oh, I'm there, I'm feeling the emotion that Drake's feeling, and it makes him feel much more like a, a grounded character in the world. We always try to make the environment seem like a character in themselves, and now, because we're globetrotting more, the idea is the specific locations take on sort of that persona, the sort of adversarial nature of this genre. I mean, it could be your literal adversaries, but also it could just be, you know, man against nature, man against the crumbling chateau, yes. So we always try to make sure he's got obstacles to confront. No, it's really cool, I, I, and we're really proud of what we showed off. I think the trailer uh, was something different and not the sort of same stuff we've done before, which is really awesome. Um, and I think the gameplay footage we showed today, you know, sort of really showed our chops at a bunch of stuff we've never showed before, like the climbing on physics object stuff, right? And like fire, and like we're not just about sand this game, we're in a whole other place, you know, there, there's the, all the globe trotting stuff. The more and more that we can render the characters um, and also let the characters be portrayed as authentic people. Really, all these things are going to ground you to the characters much more as they're grounded into the game world. You know, we're constantly improving our rendering tech, which, and again, as long as the characters seem more genuine um, and we get that nuance, I think it helps you relate to them better. What can you tell us about multiplayer at this point? I can tell you a little bit. I mean, basically, what we you know we felt like last game that we did a really we made a really great game that we we did what we wanted what we set out to do was to make a best in class multiplayer game. But this game we really want to be considered like the top you know the top game for multiplayer on the PlayStation 3. We want to be taking on the top dogs out there. What do you do now? Between, between now and release, besides stuff like this? Honestly, I mean, we have a lot to do. It's always, I mean, we're always pushing the boundaries. You know, I think as Evan has said, we're never happy. You know, we push ourselves harder than anybody. You know, we're just never happy with anything. We want to be better and better and better. So we just kill ourselves, you know, and it's going to be, it's going to be a tough year. We've got a lot to do to, to meet our expectations and meet the fans' expectations.